SEMA booth presenter to draw the attention of anybody that walks by and it's really hard thing to do when you're in Vegas with all the bling that's going on anyway but I think in the FBS booth they nailed it by bringing in a car that Steve demand built and I think it's a 59 Impala, Impala? I was gonna say this game wasn't sure which one um, and it's beautiful with gobs and gobs of stripes and graphics and things going every direction and um, Steve, just tell me about the car in general. Well the car started as a st stock 1959 Impala and it's all been shaved down to like the 60s in custom style. You know, getting rid of the door handles, the emblems and you know, taking some of the emblems and stuff off the car. And okay. Just going to get it to like the 60s and 70s feel. So, you know, with all the people that I've grown up around, you know, all these famous builders and stuff, not being a typical lowrider, keeping it, trying to do it into a custom side of the world for, you know, people at SEMA to see as a hot rod lowrider custom style. Right. Now, a lot of the booths have just a car there, just trying to draw the attention to the booth. But this one really shows the product off. I mean, you're using a lot of tapes and all kinds of stuff to make these crazy graphics every direction on this right. car. So tell me about the theme of the of the graphics and the and the stripes and stuff. Well, it's, kind of, it's got an old feel to it. It's real soft. Um, I'm using a lot of the FDS tape on a lot of my projects. Uh -huh. But it has like old feels of the paint design sense that goes along with it with the pebble basing, the silver, the Murano pearls, and the candies, and a little bit of silver leaf, and you know, some striping, and just a lot of shaving on the car to kind of bring out the sexiness in it. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the, the engine, transmission, the interior, all that stuff. Um, to get the interior to come stand out as, as much as the outside of the top of the roof of the car, with the dash being painted and everything, everything's like, there's a lot of focus points to look at, mm -hmm. so there's so much to look at the car. The motor's all chromed out. Um, the bottom's all done, same same thing. There's a lot of paintwork in the engine compartment. Right. And, you know, some striping and some graphics in that as well. And um, it's hard to see in a magazine on these cars. When you get to see it in person, it's way more impressive to see it in person. Absolutely. And how about when you open the doors? Do you carry the graphics into the door jams and all around inside? And well, this car actually, um, the graphics just wrapped to the edge. Uh, okay. Inside's all polished out, so it really doesn't need it. Okay. So everybody wants to know, where do you start when you're going <laughs> to put stripes in every direction on a car? Do you start inside? Did you do the engine bay? Did you do, you know, down the sides or the roof? Well, where do you go? I started with the sides and got the candy blue down on it first. So I knew okay. it, I already, we already designed it and kind of talked about what we were going to build. So the design sense, on this car I didn't do a rendering on it, so it was all based out of my head. And so after the bottom was done, I got onto the top and got the base done on that and then okay. I just started working you know the soft colors with it and trying to keep it real subtle and not get too crazy with it and just keep it super sexy. So when you do let's say one color do you use an interco clear or do you use a paint that you can leave open you don't have to keep stacking? Um, on some of the stuff that I well most of the stuff I do I'll use the base coats and I'll do a couple graphic lines and okay. then I'll, I'll finish clearing. Okay. I'll, I'll do a finish clear two coats of that sand that's just so I'm putting I'm putting insurance in between it all. Right. So you know if I happen to have a fingerprint or something on it I can sand it out. Okay. It's a lot more work but the depth that you get out of your paint job is so deep and you right. know and it shows right here. Okay, and how about um, when you're using the tape, what kind of tricks do you recommend for the guys that are trying to keep their tapes in good shape? Just keep your tape off the floor. Right. And keep it super clean and, you know, just a little table right next to your work. You know, you got access to all your tapes and razor blades and stuff, whatever you need to do with it, you know, right. like different sizes. Just keep on pulling millions of miles of tape and <laughs> you'll get a, you know, you'll get a job like this. I, I don't think it's that easy. <laughs> it takes years. I imagine it takes years. Yeah. Even just to do this, I would think would take years. Yeah. But no, how long did you this car, this have an estimate of hours? Hours um, is unknown. It took me a year to paint it uh -huh. off and on. on doing other projects, little stuff to, you know, pay bills, and this car was a special project, so it was something okay. like I had to get off of to get my mind away from it for a little bit, gotcha. and then put some more, you know, hard mind work into it. You know, it was well worth it. Now you see the car here, you know, in SEMA, right. you know, kicking butt, and all the hot rod <laughs> guys are coming to look at it, and I appreciate that for them all to come, because that just makes it, you know, that, that's what my goal is, to have them all come here, because I know I'm doing what I'm doing right. 
Now, when you designed this, did you stick with that design or did you lay it out and change your mind? A couple times. <laughs> oh yeah, we, I laid it out a couple times first and kind of like stood up on a ladder to look down okay. on it because I wanted to see the whole picture view from a top side to see how laid out it, you know, if my lines were going in the wrong directions and it probably, I probably had done it I think two or three times before we laid it out like this. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, now I want to see the tapes that you used All and right. learn about them. So Steve, I know it took a lot of tape to make that car and right. to lay out those patterns repetitively it sounds like um, so we came over here to learn about what's new with FBS and which tapes you like and how to use them well FBS is having a good time with all their tapes all their tape are really really good uh -huh. I use everything from the new stuff that we have from 0.7 millimeter 1 millimeter 1.2 millimeter Wow. And all the way up to, you know, three quarter, two inch to six inch tape. Right. So this is the new stuff that we have out now. Okay. And this stuff is made for like the super intricate stuff. Like right. when you're going to do little, you know, soft tape shades or, you know, like tape lines and accent to, you know, for a pin strap that you don't have to do by hand. Okay. Where you can do it with tape. Okay. You know, it's super killer for all that, like the bikers that are doing all their bike work. Right. Uh, the helmet guys, you know, from dirt bike to, you know, um, indie car, mm -hmm. and anybody that wears a helmet, you know, it's it's easy to do a lot of artwork with this stuff now. Okay, so I can see on this board that we have in front of us, you bent it really tight there. I can see that. Yeah, so it's, it's like a, a it's a tight, this tightest fingerprint you're ever gonna see. That's amazing. <laughs> and it started with Nup started laying out all these tape graphic stuff on it, and gotcha. he started and he, he started like in this corner and he, corner and he started all these fingerprint pattern and uh -huh. I asked him how long did that take you and he told me oh, it's about an hour and he goes here finish the rest of it and I think this other half took me about an hour and 20 minutes and you know and it starts playing tricks on your eyes well yeah so you mentioned you were talking about having some classes coming up is that anything uh, you can discuss uh, or yeah I mean is it, it something that somebody can learn from you oh for sure I mean the tape works everything um, tape layout design sense um, being around the coolest people in the, you know, in this art industry and doing it with Nub and we're going to do a tape master class. Oh, that sounds cool. And that's going to be, you know, taking my hot rod style and lowrider style and then taking all his bike style and his, you know, t-shirt art style and put it all together and, and learn a lot more different, you know, four or five diff different styles in one class, mm -hmm. so okay. which is going to be awesome. And where can we learn more about your master's class? It'll be, it'll come out on the um, FBS website. Okay. That'll probably where to start so okay. we can launch it and then it'll go to my website and then it'll go to Nub's website. Okay. And what's your website? My website's uh, info at colorkings.com. Okay. Well, we appreciate your time and thanks for bringing out another beautiful car every year. I look forward to seeing what you brought. Thank you very And much. for teaching me a little bit more about FBS. Okay. Hey, thanks. Thank you. Sometimes when we come to SEMA, we have to go a little off the V8 wagon and go just see what's cool. So I found Nub in the FBS booth to tell me about this beautiful motorcycle. And I want to know how, in the, how many layers is that and how did you do that? That's amazing. Thank you. We only had a couple days to turn it around. Okay. So there was a lot of, I mean, it's a lot of taping and spraying. Yeah. So it looks like different layers, but there's right. really not a lot. Uh, so I'm seeing some lace and I'm yeah, seeing some marbling and some leafing and a lot of different colors. Yeah, the lace actually, it's funny because when we did it, the shop, next to the shop, there was a, a fabric store. So we're like, oh, let's just go buy some lace. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me about the bike in general. Uh, it's a 47 Harley. Um, and other than that, I mean, the paint job, we just did a, a, a candy orange and, and laid out a lot of different tapes and sprayed them. You can see all the little 16th inches that we did. Absolutely. You know. And I use I use the tape not only to spray, but I use it a lot to, uh, especially on a paint job like this, I will use the tape as a spacer okay. to make sure everything's evenly, you know, lay out three quarter inch, three quarter inch, and you know, this is right. a paint job that would call for something like that. Okay. So, so you're worried, you're concerned about making the left and right the same and yeah, use the tape because it's do a that. very symmetrical kind of paint job. You don't want one side to be a little bit bigger than the other. Yes. So. And um, FBS has got a very new, fine they have that itty. new little skinny oh, little Oh, it's so stuff. cool. I know, I do you got any ideas to... in your mind what you're going to do? I have some, yeah, I have a few ideas. Um, I do a lot of smaller projects, so I'm going to. I'm gonna bring some home and you play with it. You got some ideas. Yeah, huh? We were okay. playing around with it on the panel, me and Steve. Okay. My eyes were actually starting to hurt. Actually, if you wanna see a cool trick, I'll show you. Sure. Yeah, you wanna see okay. a trick that I do? Yeah. I don't know. All right. You wanna go over there and yeah. do it? Okay. 
So it's a cool little trick if you're taping something out and you don't want to cut. I don't know if this is a fresh blade, but most people, when they're cutting that edge, they want to carve into the thing. Yeah. And it's small, so eyesight goes pretty fast when you're getting older and they, they want to carve into there. Yeah. If you just hold the blade right there, and then you just uh -huh. pull the tape so you're not cutting into anything. I see. And then you hold and just pull. That's so awesome. you don't leave any cut marks in the paint, which that's kind of important. Absolutely. That's really so, awesome. That's my tip. Thanks. It's all yours. See, I knew you'd share something with me. <laughs> Now we appreciate you showing the tricks to Not us. No problem. It was uh, really cool to look at the My bike pleasure. and learn a little bit about um, the new tapes. And good luck with all the little bitty stuff. Yeah. And I hope you have a lot of fun with playing with those. I will. Thanks, Thanks for, for your time. Thank you.